today I'm on the hunt for some short sleeve knit polos so I went to my local mall Yorkdale Toronto's best mall in my opinion for some spring clothing guys stick around to the end to see what I picked up this is one of my most expensive clothing hauls our adventure starts at cost one of my favorite stores for elevated basics they honestly had a ton of great stuff like striped oxfords and pants but I'm a man on a mission today for some short sleeve knit button ups something I can dress up or down I literally brought like 10 items to the change room let's start with this cropped cargo vest it was cool and all but way too cropped it's like a belly top I'm not even sure how to style something like this and the hood was a little bit weird next was this trench coat actually very nice but I got a size too small which was really tight on my armpits but if I went up a size then the sleeves were too long so it was a skip for me here's the striped Oxford it's nice but I have something similar at home next are these white denim jeans that are claimed to be a 29 waist and I'm calling total BS these were at least a 32 I've actually never seen such a size discrepancy before in my life no nip polo so it's onward and forward around the corner to acne studios one of my favorite brands at the moment definitely not cheap but the store is super cool let's start with this clean wash black hoodie and knit sweater moving on to this oversized graphic tee which I mean is super dope definitely trying it on some great cargos the details on these like rectangular pockets and logo were really well done but y'all this garment dyed sweater this is the one I didn't even bother looking at the price but man it's nice these black wash jeans caught my eye as well so it's off to the changing room surprise surprise they fit amazing and I love them however I only wanted one item the tea was super fire so I had to cop Club Bonico is one of those stores that can surprise you from time to time but similar to the shops that we've been to so far it's a lot of leftover winter clothing side note this suede jacket is really great on to everyone's favorite Uniqlo. I actually got kicked out of the store last time for filming. Luckily, iPhone video is on point now, so I'm going stealth mode. This short blouse is easily one of the best items in the store right now, especially in this cream color. I have the forest green version, and it's super versatile. They had some great other workwear style shackets. They had a slew of knit cardigans in a range of colors. These are excellent. And of course, they have the affordable slim salvage denim. If you are looking to dip your toe into the salvage world, I highly recommend starting with these. And I have two pairs of the wide pleats trousers and I highly suggest trying them as well last shop was Zara which to be fair had some decent stuff like this puffer jacket but no spring clothes yet so unfortunately the hunt continues okay I am back at the condom now I got a haircut on the way home I hope you guys enjoyed the shopping vlog at the beginning of the video vlogging in public is not something that I'm excellent at but it's something that I want to improve upon so if you want to see more uh, video styles like those be sure to let me know in the comments or hit the thumbs up button that's the best way that I will know to continue to do them let's jump into some of the pickups first let's break down the outfit I was wearing in this video because it's honestly one of my favorites this hoodie that I picked up is my favorite hoodie that I have ever bought it is from a brand called seventh which is based out of the UK and this thing was pricey I'm gonna be completely honest it is 275 US dollars which I know is crazy but the quality the boxy fit everything about this hoodie is perfect I promise you and uh, at least I know that I don't have to buy another black hoodie regardless I love this hoodie and because I paid a lot for it I'm gonna wear it a ton so it'll be worth it for me in the end next up the cargos are from a brand called Ronning uh, which is uh, by a content creator here on YouTube Magnus and on Instagram for example and I absolutely love them I love the exaggerated and large pockets along the thighs and the lower leg there's so many great details about this one and the fit is really good they are a little touch too long for me so I do plan on getting them hemmed up a bit uh, but in the interim this is how I'm rocking them unfortunately they're sold out online so I did buy them on grailed um, but there are a number of different Ronning cargo pants Pants on grail, so I'll be sure to link them in the description along with every clothing item I'm wearing in this video. Another one of my favorite cargo pants that I've picked up recently are these olive ones from K2 Studios. This is also from a creator on Instagram, Caleb Keller. I think that uh, for a creator to be putting out products like these is honestly very impressive. Same deal, I bought these on Grail. There are a number of different K2 Studios cargos posted on the secondary market. So once again, I'll leave some of my favorite listings in the description box below. I'm a big fan of the exaggerated pockets all over and uh, I just can't wait to wear these a ton more. So the one pickup that I did get from Acne Studios was this t-shirt. This is the Stockholm 1996 tee. There's a few different variations, but this is the washed one. So it was a little bit pricier uh, just based off of the wash effect and the distressing that you see throughout. This does have an oversized fit. I'm wearing a size extra small here, but I love the details of the shirt. But I think my motto for 2024, as you saw with this hoodie that I'm wearing, is that my plan is to buy fewer clothing items, but to buy better quality. So as a result, the price typically dictates the quality. That's why I'm, I'm investing a little bit more in some higher priced items as opposed to just 
you know, shopping from the same uh, stores all the time. Just trying to switch things up and, you know, really shrink my closet a bit just because I feel like I have a, a lot in there. Um, first world problem, I know. Uh, but either way, Acne Studio shopping in store was an excellent experience. So if you have yet to, I highly recommend you pick something up or at least check out the store if you live close by to one. The next and most asked about pickup for me has to be this Ami Paris jacket. This thing is stunning. It's absolutely stunning. It's a nice wash denim with a double zipper cropped fit. You got elastics on the cuff. You got elastics on the bottom hem. Everything about this is so nice. I got it for around 60% off. This thing was originally, I think like a thousand dollars, which come on guys. I mean, I would never pay that for this style of jacket, but I got it for $3.99. I was able to try it on in store and the store that I bought it from offers free in store alterations. I'm talking about Simon's in Canada. You can shop their US website as well because they have everything posted in there. I can't wait to wear this a lot more in the springtime, but until then, you're gonna see them in videos here and there. The next pickup is from my new favorite brand, Entire Studios. Uh, they're new for me at least. They are perfect if you love a streetwear look. This item right here is an olive cropped zip up hoodie. Now, one thing you should know about Entire Studios is that they do focus on quality and craftsmanship for like everyday essentials, like a hoodie and pants, for example, but they typically have some type of like exaggerated feature to them. So for the bomber jackets, their really long sleeves are like super puffy. And the detail for this one would be the humongous hood that comes along with it. But I feel like when you factor in how boxy the hoodie is, how loose it fits on you, the large hood doesn't feel out of place or weird. I did pick them up alongside a pair of open hem sweatpants. They are black with a wash to them. These are a size extra small and the hoodie is a size small. So keep that in mind. The pants are oversized intentionally. So like I said, I'm wearing an extra small here. The waist is nice and high. The length is nice and long. So they drape really well on a pair of sneakers, for example. The next pickup are these R Legacy Third Cut Digital Print Denim. I don't have them on me right now. They're at a seamstress getting altered. I'm basically getting them hemmed because the pants fit a little bit too long. However, these things are the most unique clothing item I think I probably own because of the fact that the denim wash on here is not real. It's digitally printed on. There's no distressing. There's uh, no texture to it other than just a standard denim. They are made in Italy, so the quality is phenomenal. It's still an excellent pair of jeans with a nice wide boxy fit and a nice wide leg opening, but I'm going to be making a video soon uh, comparing different types of denim, so I wanted to definitely include those in there. Thanks so much for watching the video, guys. I'll catch you in the next one.